What's up, folks? Carolina Cat Daddy. We are uh, going to fish a body of water. I said I wasn't going to fish again for a month or two. We are late, Wiley. We, uh, we've been fishing nonstop. We, uh, let's see how this worked out. Friday night, me and uh, Tyler went and fished the river tournament, and we didn't do too well. The bite was way off. It's Trey Smith's tournament. He won the tournament. We caught fish, but it just wasn't enough. So, the next day, took Jesse O'Neill out. I'm, I've, I've been fishing so much, I can't remember what I've been doing. Took Jesse O'Neill out. If you don't know Jesse O'Neill, look him up. Bad, bad butt kayaker around here. He'd be wearing him out on the kayak. He runs all them kayak tournaments. Took him out on Watery. Me and him both knew we was gonna get our butts kicked on Watery, and we did. I didn't even turn the camera on. We caught a couple little fish. Mainly, we sat there and talked, and you know, First time we're meeting each other. We got the same tattoos on our hand. He's a cool dude, I really like him. We'll, we'll, we'll put together a video on a better trip. So I had bought a bunch of herring for that night and I did something I ain't never done before in my entire life. Junior War Scout, which is becoming one of my good fishing buddies, he needed bait for to take one of his sponsors out. And I gave him all my live bait. Gave him the tank and everything, y'all. Let him take my tank. Junior, better know I love you both. Good friends don't let fin uh, friends fish without bait. So let him take the heron. I went home, went to sleep, and got up the next day to fish fishing creek. And uh, couldn't catch no, couldn't get the, the heron man. Wasn't, uh, I guess he don't sell bait on Sunday. He wouldn't answer the phone. So I went out there with no bait and luckily caught a bunch of perch. Fished that night, caught a couple little flats. Went to sleep on the boat for a couple hours. And then went on, didn't even make it home. Went to the shop, unloaded my boat, and went and hit the river with Chris George. We actually, old Slap, oh, <laughs> Captain Slap. We had a good time. I caught a rare black gar. I don't know how rare they are, but I've never seen them in my entire life. And uh, I got in the river, that section of the river that I've been wanting to get in my whole entire life. So I don't know what all. We got some video from that day. You'll probably see that video before you see this one, or it might be in with this video. I might put it in right now as I'm doing this intro. But uh, didn't catch a lot of fish, but we had a great time. You know, I love just being on the water. You know, we stopped, was catching bait. Well, um, I got four or five of those perch left, a really big perch. So I asked Junior if he needed some bait. I asked a couple of my homeboys if they needed some bait. They didn't need it. So uh, I already knew what was gonna happen. I knew I was gonna go fish again. So Jeff Manning tournament was coming up this coming Saturday. So I had come out here and scouted some really good fish. I didn't fish them. I fished the tail end of them and caught one 17, but I mean, I marked some really big fish. So the Jeff Manning tournament got canceled. He couldn't get a dang permit, which is outrageous. Like, I, I don't get that. Not on his part, on DNR's part. I don't see why someone couldn't get a daggum permit. And he tried to get it about three months ago. I, I just don't understand that, but it wasn't meant to be. So maybe it was meant for me to come fish these fish today. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go give them a try. I got them four or five perch. I might stop, there's a spot around here, I think some perch are held up. I might go see if they're there. I might spend a little bit of time trying to catch some more. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time. We're mainly gonna uh, focus on these fish and see if they're even there. This was two weeks ago, so they might not even be here anymore. So we'll see. Y'all stay tuned, let's see what happens. I, I swear, I'm starting to hate this lake. I really am, like I'm about sick and tired of it. I told myself I would not come back out here until it got cold. And what the heck am I doing? I'm just close to pack it up and going somewhere else and it's very well may happen. I'm gonna sit here and think about it and I'll let y'all know when I figure it out, but I just, I can't stand this lake. I really can't. And I, I'm really upset with myself for even coming here. All right, y'all, we ain't giving up. I can't go out like that. I just get aggravated with this lake, but you gotta adapt and overcome. So that's what we're gonna do. Only got two out because the rest of these are trash. I gotta re-rig all these rods. We got the wind, got the boat traffic, and I found some fish. So we're gonna sit on these for a little while. I catch bait back here too, so I think I got enough bait, but I always like to have more, because there's no telling how long I'll stay out here. Y'all y'all know me, there ain't no telling. So Junior might come fish with me tonight too, I don't know. But uh, what I do know is we're gonna get these rods rid up and we ain't giving up. Have one running sideways. 
Let me sit in here for a little minute. Probably about 45 minutes. It probably wasn't big. <clears throat> We're gonna sit here for a little while longer. Nice and calm back here. That's freaking windy as crap out there on the main lake. <laughs> oh, these are some good hooks. This hook's done stuck me twice. Dang. We're gonna sit here for a little while longer and then decide what we're gonna do. We got a perch rod out, but I ain't had nothing hit it. I've seen some bait popping, so we might throw the net in here after we decide to move. Unless we start catching some fish, I don't know. There is some fish here though, so we're gonna see. Yeah, we finally hooked a fish. He ain't no big boy, but finally got a fish. We got the skunk off the boat. There he is. Skunk's off the boat. I don't know how much longer we're gonna sit here. Kinda want it to really calm down out there in the lake and I wanna go out there and look for some fish. But we'll sit here a little while longer and see what happens. All right, yeah, we caught a little bit of fresh bait and uh, come in and mark the area I fished before and caught some decent fish. I marked a really big flathead on side imaging. Went back around, I'm trying to learn how to use my side imaging. And on my side imaging, when I mark a big fish, seems like there's a little black shadow right under, under their head, especially a flathead. And so I cruised back over, I marked off the footage of how far over I marked him on the side imaging. I cruised back over and I got a good sonar reading of him in the mud. He's a big fish, he's a really big fish. So uh, we're, we're gonna sit here probably a while. He's buried in the mud right now. There's a lot of, there's a fish in right there. There's a lot of fish in this area. I don't think this is no monster, but uh, a lot of fish in this area, so. We're gonna, uh, we're going to sit here and fish, and we're going to wait for that big boy to come out. I feel like it's, uh, I was trying to look and see what time it was. This guy's got a little spunk to him, though. Not a bad blue. Not a bad blue. It's an edible fish. That's all twisted up. I'll turn the camera back on in a minute. We was about to give up earlier too. And this is why you shouldn't give up. Uh, I believe we're gonna catch some good fish tonight. If not, I shouldn't have gave up anyway. I should have stuck to what I came here to do. Got real frustrated out in the main channel of the lake. We might hit the main channel later. But if we can catch that fish I got marked over there, I don't need to go to the main channel. That is it. Pushing my PB flat over there. 47.7 what it is right now. That sucker right there is close. But we'll see if we can get them. All right, y'all. I got these two rods positioned on where that flathead is, and this one's. This definitely ain't him, but uh, it's a fish. Dang, I put my best pieces of bait over there for him. Another blue. Old fatty. We're still waiting on that big boy. It's uh 
It's 7.20 now, so hoping it gets a little closer to dark, he'll come on out and try this all-you-can-eat buffet. I got all kind of stuff out here for him. But I got these two mainly positioned on right there, right there in front of his face. And that was one of my best pieces of bait that that blue ate. But I still got some decent bait, but I just caught some fresh perch. And that's what I threw out on these two rods. Big, big head and big body. He ate the body. But the head's still over there. And we got, we got some of that older perch. It's still fresh. I mean, it's cutting up pretty fresh. So we'll throw some of that over there. I actually caught a couple thread fins too. And that's what I caught that one on. The first one, or the one y'all, before this one. It was actually a little bit bigger than the one I just caught, but we're gonna keep fishing. Got another one, about the same size. They hitting pretty hard though. Still waiting on big boy though. Yeah, he's actually smaller. But he hit way harder than the most here. Oh, we sat here for a while. This ain't no big boy though. He's a little better fish than what we've been catching though. He's not much bigger, but he's definitely a little bit bigger. He ain't the flathead we're looking for. I ain't caught, ain't been able to stick a flathead yet. Wow, I didn't mean to do all that. I don't know how much longer we're gonna sit here. I had just told my buddy I was gonna sit here 20 more minutes. We might give it another 20 after catching that one. And we'll see if we can get that flathead out of this hole. All right, y'all. I done missed like three fish in here. But I got this one. I got this one. There's these big ones in here, y'all. I don't miss it. The fish I missed, I missed them twice on the same rod. I got this drag pretty tight. He just peeling drag, and I picked it up, and the bait had turned around the hook. So I threw it right back and uh, missed him again. So now I'm going to turn all the clickers on. So all these got clickers on. Except that one, the clickers broke on that one, but 
We're gonna keep fishing. All right, y'all. It's definitely a flathead. He's got me three times. This time on the quick, he did the how flathead did zit, zit, zit. I let him go with about 10, 15 seconds, too. As soon as he feels pressure, he's letting it go. It's a smart, big fish. Probably gonna sleep on the boat and try and catch his, catch him. <laughs> All right, we got another one. Still a little guy. <clears throat> This flat gets on again. I'm gonna turn the camera on and just let y'all watch. I'm gonna let him take it for a minute. Three times he's gonna hit it. Hoping I get one more shot. All right, y'all, it started raining like crazy. I got it there before it started raining. Oh my goodness, that flathead, y'all. I've never had a fish mess with me like this. He ran on me three times, couldn't get him. So the fourth time, I threw the bait out. Took a little bit of slack up. As soon as I set the rod down, he bump, 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 took it. Took it. Took the bait too. I didn't kid him. It's a smart fish. It's a really smart fish. Another thing that happened last night, if y'all are on the water, you know when you're driving down the road, you gotta watch other people. Well, when you're on the water, you gotta watch other people even more. Cause depth perception on the lake is way different than on the on the on the road. You can it's hard to tell the distance and where you're at. It's hard to even see people because apparently this guy didn't even see me. And it's at nighttime too. I was scanning, going about five miles an hour, and I come around a point out into the main lake. And there was another guy scanning. I mean, we're about 100 yards apart. So we kept scanning and scanning and scanning towards each other. Once we got about 30 yards apart, he gunned it. This is a bass boat too. I mean, he just went right at me, yo. I turned it to the left and gunned it myself. And then he finally seen me and he's turned too. So for a split second, our faces were about three yards apart. And I yelled some explicits to him and he said he was sorry. All in that little split second. I mean, that was about to be bad. I mean, that was really, really bad. I really, like I said in the beginning of this video, I, I have a love-hate relationship with Wiley, especially during the summer months because it's just too much traffic. Too many people out there drinking. I don't know if this guy was drinking. It is a little harder to see at night, but I mean, I clearly seen him, so I don't see why he didn't clearly see me. I clearly seen him 100 yards away. I'm very aware of my surroundings. I try to stay on top of that because you never know what's going to happen. And thankfully, I I don't bite under pressure because if I wouldn't if I wouldn't have gunned it in turn, he still would have hit me. It, I've seen some bad things on Lake Wiley. I've been back hit several times. I know some people that's got hit. Broad daylight got hit. One of my dad's friends got hit broad daylight by someone that was supposedly a captain and had a guy a trip going on. So you just got to be aware. Um, still had a good trip. I probably won't be on Wiley for a while. I said that, you know, I've been saying that. I just, I don't know why I had this wild hair to go up to Wiley, but I did. We caught fish, and I know where our big one's living at, so we will be back to get him. A little better tactics, maybe. I got to figure out how to get him. He's a smart one, y'all. Some of them flatheads are big ones. They real, real smart. He's a smart one. But uh, thank y'all for watching. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to throw up a, a subscribe button. Y'all hit that and throw up some other videos y'all check out. Thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one.